All right, so we have some more press conference questions here. The first comes from Neil Dig Games. He's asking the back four, or the four at the back seems to be working instead of the three. Sungare, thinking about getting a new right back. Well, as for right now, not really. Um, I have Sungare, who's been actually been playing pretty well. I know his overall is low, but you know he's been a very decent player for us. Um, especially with the formation changes, he's been working very, very well. And uh, Nico Williams, we just signed him in the winter. He hasn't been playing a lot because of injuries. So, I'm definitely trying to see more of him before the season ends and make the decision in the end of the season. A harsh one from Sheldon McDonald. He says, João Pedro needs to be sold. His performances are unacceptable. You should buy an all-round striker like Musa Dembele, a striker to replace him. He's all-round great striker, heading ability, jumping, speed, can fulfill that striker role. Wow. Okay, so... Okay, João Pedro has not been as good as I expected him to be. Obviously, he's still relatively young, so he still has time to improve. I don't think I'm going to sell him just yet, but I might get somebody to support him, another striker. I don't know if Dembele is going to be a player that we can afford, but we'll look into it definitely. We only have $22 million to spend, so we don't know. And the last question comes from my Chick Monks Playlist O. He says, I have questions for you. Um, one, why don't you have a face camera like YouTubers, like the True Brits, Terry F Gaming? I'm kind of new to this channel and I don't know why. Please tell me why don't I have a face camera? And play, and please make sure that you sign Santos Borja. Job Pedro isn't playing well. So yeah, to answer your second question or your statement, I guess. Yeah, we'll definitely look into Santos Borja. He actually is a player that I might consider bringing in to replace, not replace, but to support um, Job Pedro. I know Rob Petra's not scoring a lot of goals, so maybe a player like him could come in and support him. And for his first question, um, I don't have a good camera. That's basically it. My camera is trash. I only have a webcam camera, and I haven't done a face reveal yet. So I might, I might do one soon, though. Maybe forget, like, a certain amount of subscribers by the end of the year. Then we could do a, I'll do a face reveal. But who knows? Um, definitely, I'm sure that's going to be a little bit tougher to edit. Also, adding my face in the games and whatever, but, you know. In the future, be in the lookout. I'll do a face review eventually. Thanks for the press conference questions. And uh, if you want to ask yours, just use the hashtag AskCarlos. And yeah. What is up guys, Prize here, and welcome to episode 8 of the Schalke Pest 2021 Season Update Master League Series. I know you guys are loving this series. Thanks for all the support. If you guys are new to the channel and this is the first time of you watching, please subscribe if you haven't. And uh, drop a like in the comments down below. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, and concerns regarding this club, drop a hashtag AskCarlosQuestion. And then I'll answer it right away. Alright, so, we're in episode 7, or 8, let me check, yeah, we're episode 8, okay, and uh, let's see how we do, okay, so we have Schalke, we face against Union Berlin, then Stuttgart, then Fenerbahce, then Armenia, then Fenerbahce again, so we should be done with the Europa League tie in this game, so only 5 games this episode, I might do the clap back in, depending on how much time I have, I don't know though, so let's see. Our first game is going to be against the Union Berlin. The team has always given us a little bit of a problem. Former players, like Oots, obviously plays for this club. But uh, we have our own set of good players in the team as well. Let's change the lineup real quick. All right, so this is how we're going to play today, a 4-3-3. Same formation as usual. Raman scored twice in the game against Real Sociedad, so he's going to start today. We draw Pedro on the center forward position. Talismanio on the left. Harit starts as the man, but feeding them. Sardar and Crown, the midfield pairing. And the defense is basically the same. No to Debo, though. He's a little fatigued. So, we're starting a beast ball instead of him. Sangare is starting over Nico Williams because he's also low on fatigue. And Mendio starts on the left with Dean Henderson in goal. Union in Berlin, they have, obviously, the man, the myth, the legend, Schlatterbeck in the club. Don't forget about Karius as well. And our former player, in Utz, starting center forward for them. Almada is also another player we were looking at, but uh, decided to move away from for now. And uh, maybe we'll look into him again this summer. So, first game of the episode against Union Berlin. Let's see how we do. Alright, we are at the Veltens Arena, home stadium of Schalke. First game of the episode against Union Berlin. Let's see how we do. The game gets underway. Schalke against Union Berlin. 
All right, so we've been on some good form recently. Obviously, the last episode, we lost that one game against Bayern in the Cup. Well, we beat Russia that in the Europa League. We beat Hoffenheim. We beat, um, who else did we play? We played somebody else, but we beat somebody else there also. Oh, yeah, it was Mainz. Yeah, another game. A game that uh, we could have obviously dropped points in if it wasn't for Merchan in the last second. Happy with the result here. Here comes Harriet Dole. Oh, and Friedrich clears it well. I oh, trying to find the talisman like he did for that goal against Hoffenheim, man. That's one of my favorite goals I've scored. Kabak, what are you doing? All right, gonna have to stay on him then. No mud on the left-hand side. God. What a stop there from, from Kabak. Here comes João Pedro. João Pedro, oh my days. <laughs> That should have been one, and the fact that they didn't even go out of bounds, that makes me even more angry. Find Sangare. Then John Pedro puts it away, and it's 1 0 Schalke. Well, it's kind of easy how much space Sangare had, but John Pedro puts it away. Um, he's had a tough time this season. A lot of people are saying that we should sell him, move him on, but uh, you know, he's a striker that could get goals from here, here and there. The thing with Jao Pedro is that I know that he hasn't been playing his best football, but it's his first season. I've had players in this game where they suck their first season, but their second season and after they just become phenomenal players. Just give him some time. It's not like his record is the worst. He should be doing much better, obviously. He's still young, so um, we expect him to become better as age comes also. Maturity is an important factor, and uh, he still hasn't has a chance to develop yet. Only one season. Well, not even. The season hasn't even ended yet. Here comes Ahmad on the left-hand side. Oops, a good ball in. Sangari is there to stop it. Answer door. Time is... Oh, and it's Rob Pedro! What a finish! And it's a center forward once again. Rob Pedro putting it away. And Schalke double the lead against Union Berlin. And it's Rob Pedro. There he is, getting the goals he wants. Another goal for him this season. This 2022, he's been so much better. And uh, wanted to make sure to keep his form up like this. 2 0. Thanks to Draw Pedro again. <laughs> oh, what a turn there from Oots. He knows all about Kabak and Bootlayer. Oh, good stop there from Sangare. Neil Big was saying that Sangare, you know, he's not that good of a right back, but to be honest, he could do the job. His overall might be really, really low, but he's still a relatively good player. Don't sleep on him. But Garaz be finding a lot of joy on this left hand side. In fact, so much so, we only got like 41% position down there. And uh, obviously, somebody's not doing their job. But here they come. Max Cruz. Go for Oh my god, what are you doing? Get back! Uh, and the clean sheet's gone. Oh, get back. Should be doing much better there. Parrots. Raman. Here comes Kabak and it's 3-1. I don't know what Karras is doing, but the center back Kabak puts it away and Schalke have confirmed the victory. 3-1, come on. They move the ball well here. Oh my God, come on, man. Are you serious? At least have give Karras a chance to save it. That's some good football though, but Kwame's finishing is just out of this world, literally. What the heck was that? Almost killed the cameraman. Coming from a long range. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't shoot on targets. I'm gonna have to work on your. You're gonna have to work on your finishing, man. Because you literally have all the attributes to be a great player, but your finishing has just been letting you down this season. And it's full time. Three goals to one for Schalke. We've completely dominated this game against Union Berlin. I'm really liking how we're playing now. Three one. We win. We move. Rob Pedro with a brace also, proving a lot of the haters wrong. So Rob Pedro obviously won man of the match. The other results are as follows, by Leverkusen, they win against Augsburg, Freiburg drew with Hoffenheim, Wolfsburg, they lost to Mainz, Frankfurt drew with Werder Bremen, Hertha Berlin drew with Stuttgart, Borussia Dortmund beat Armenia, Leipzig drew with Borussia Mönchengladbach, and Bayern Munich lose to Cologne, wow, what, what's a shock. And we go to 6th position, only 7 points behind 2nd place, so we can still make the Europa League, I mean the Champions League, if we keep on playing like this. 
It's not far off. We still have to play against Leipzig. We still have to play against Dortmund again. We have to play against Gladbach again. You know, it's still a possibility. Bottom of the table is Wolfsburg having a horrible season. Why in 18th? All right, next game is against Stuttgart. I thought we were playing the, the Europa League next, but I guess not. Next game against Stuttgart at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Um, There's a firewall match for some of the retiring players. We will not be playing that. Serdar, Kabak, and Crow made it, and other, two more other players. All right, before we do that, let's do some training. I have to do training on, on Kwame because this guy can't finish dinner. Where are you? Focus training. What is your finishing? 77. Okay, uh, you're doing focus training on dribbling. Well, we got that sort of doubts, I think. I'm going to do that on shooting now. So, take off some speed. Oh, okay. All right, so we're going to do some focus training, see, on shooting. Hopefully, that improves your finishing. All right. Now, let's play. Let's put our lineup out. All right, so this is how we're going to play today. A lot of players are going to be out for this game because they're either on poor form or I just need them to rest for the game in the mid in midweek, the Europa League. So, this is how we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing a 4-3-3 like usual. Defense is basically the same, but Tolibo is back in the side. And Nico Williams as well. They replace... Uh, Fuchs, not Fuchs, sorry, Obispo and Sangare. Lucas Biglia making his first start, I think maybe his first appearance too, starting in the midfield with Ramirez. That's going to be a new pivot that we haven't seen yet. Harris at the 10, Raman on the left, we drop Pedro on the right, and Matondo up front. No Talismanio, no Kwame, and yeah, and no Serdar either. And uh, Stuttgart, we beat them before. They're playing a three at the back formation, 3 5, t uh, three, five 2, I think. Um, okay, I have to watch out for Wawangi too because we know that he's a, he's a pacey player. He could always be dangerous. And uh, Gonzalez up front as well. He's a danger man. Let's see if we get a result here against Stuttgart. Alright, next game against uh, Stuttgart in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Can we please get a result here? Um, we've started. We've been playing well in the Bundesliga. I don't think we've lost in a while. Last time we did lose. It was actually that Frankfurt game. So, it's been like a couple months. Almost two months unbeaten, I guess. Here they come, though. Here's Benito Raman. Wow. And it's a free kick here. Early free kick given away by uh, the defender for Stuttgart. There's a chance for Harris to make it 1-0. He's been pouring the free kick. But uh, can he turn his fortunes around here? Harris! Oh! Matondo still has the ball with them. Here comes Matondo. Matondo! And it's 1 0! And it's the number 11, the right winger from Wales. He scores, and Schalke have taken the lead. And uh, he does all maintain possession also. Kept the ball for the longest time. Ran to the left hand side, cut inside, curled it past the keeper, and made it 1 0 for the away team. Come on, Schalke! Here they come now, Mangala, and Tobibo does well. Tobibo just trying to get his match, match fitness in. Of course, he missed the last game, and needs to be, he needs to be available for the next fixture. Here comes Matondo, though. Finds Ramirez. Who finds Raman, who's a goal-scoring machine. Uh, and that's a free kick for them. Oh, the touch was poor, though. But we could have made a 2-0. Inherit. He even up and down since the formation change. Like he can have a game like he had against Hoffenheim, and he can have a game. That he just completely drops his thinker. Here comes Raman. Oh, Pedro, why are you not running? And Mavropanos makes a huge mistake. And it's Rao Pedro, he's missed. And Gonzalez. He's throwing goal here, Gonzalez. Oh my god, where's my defense? Okay. Todibo needed to make sure that he was there. Hey, oh my god! What are you doing, Quebec? Are you serious, man? Wow. I moved back with Kabak because I was expecting them to cross the ball. They have players running in, and Kabak, instead of stopping them from scoring, he's like, let me help you real quick. Jeez, man, what has been going on with you? Two games have already been dropping a bunch of stinkers. Another clean sheet's gone thanks to Kabak once again. Man, here they come again. Kabak, what are you doing? They've won the back, come on. Here comes Ramirez. Finds Rob Pedro. Who finds Nico Williams? Can he take it on his own? Who finds Raman? Oh, and it's hit the post! 
or the crossbar? I don't know if the keeper saved the first or not. But here comes Harrod. A long distance effort. It's oh, oh, it's two millimeters away. Dang it. The Sirdar. Jesus Christ, man. You're supposed to, I, like I said before, you're supposed to be here and making an improvement. You're out here giving the ball away, left, right, center. Here comes Tommy. Well defended there. Yes, Nicolone is not paying attention. And you're looking at Gonzalez is not paying attention either. Oh my days, this team is struggling. Oh, come on, no, 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 no. Dang it, man, are you serious? How do we drop those stupid Stuttgart's? Come back, Ugh, come back. Matanda one minute of the match, and uh, the way we just, this team played the second half was just not good enough. Union Berlin, they lost to Augsburg 4 0. Bayer Leverkusen win, Wolfsburg draw, Mind win against Werder Bremen. Bayern drew with Leipzig, Dortmund drew with Gladbach. And that's, this could have been the chance, man. And Bayer Leverkusen, they won. But this could have been the chance to catch up. Oh my god, if we won that game, it would have been fourth. Only five points behind Leipzig. Alright, next game against Ver uh, Fer uh, Fernabache in the Europa League. They're calling Harris Mr. Sunshine. Is that because of his hairstyle? Who knows? Fernabache, of course, former team of Sangare, who's on poor form. Cabec on poor form. Oh, let's change the lineup real quick. Oh my god. Alright. So, this is how we're going to line up for today. 4-3-3. Uh, we're playing all beast ball defensive midfield because literally I have nobody else to play. I don't trust Big Lee in this game, so he's gonna start on on the bench. Harrod as the ten. And maybe I even play. I might play Harrod and then maybe play Merchan. Nah, 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 nah. We start a second leg to play. Uh right, we'll try our beast ball defensive midfield. Harrod to the ten. Towers Manuel draw Pedro and Kwame up front. Matondo is on poor, terrible form. So is Crow. Jesus. Let's try to turn this around. At the Veltins Arena, we play against Fernabache in the first leg of the Europa League round of 16. Come on. Alrighty. Schalke, Fernabache, Europa League round of 16. We beat Real Sociedad before. Um, it was close, but we ended up getting the victory. Let's see if we can do the same against uh, the same Fernabache. It's a good ball in looking for Joao Pedro and it's come off six points of profit in there. It's gonna be a goal kick. Wow! What? Here comes Sosa. Samata. Sosa. Oh my god! Dang Henderson! What are you doing? Pick that up! And we can see the stupid away goal to Diego Parati. Oh my god. I didn't know that was coming to me. I, I didn't even know that was coming to me, man. He came out and completely missed the ball. What are you doing, man? Confusing the whole defense. Header by Sosa. It could have been two. And Schalke just all over the shop right here. Not looking confident at all. Oh, what a turn! Oh my god! And it's Kwame again. This guy can't finish. I knew that. <laughs> oh, that was going to be a goal. Great goal. Turned away from the defender. If he scored that, man, that was like, oh. Oh, wonderful. All right, here it comes. And Jao Pedro's through on goal against Novak. Jao Pedro. Jao Pedro, and it's 1 1. And Jao Pedro, sure, he's not missing from there. He gets one back. And Schalke have got an equalizing goal. Come on! And from the counterattack, they score. That's what, you know, Robert Call loves to play that counterattack. And uh, Jean Pedro's not missing from there. Schalke won. Fernabachi won. No Beast Ball retains possession. And here comes Schalke over again. Oh, Beast Ball's making the run. He sees a. Oh, what a pass from Jean Pedro! Kwame! Oh my god, Kwame saw the ball! And it's Raul Pedro again! He's doing it! Oh my god, what a pass from Raul Pedro, first of all. Kwame retained possession. I thought he lost it there. He still had it, though. And I, I knew that Kwame wasn't going to score from there, so I had to pass it on to Raul Pedro. I'm more comfortable with his finishing than the Ivorians. And it's 2 1 Schalke. Come on, what a comeback. They won it back. 
Obese Paul. Finds Ben Deal. Finds Talis Manio. Here's Raul Pedro. He finds a shot for Kwame and it's 3 1. It's wonderful connection between the three center forwards or the three forwards. Christian Kwame makes it 3 for Schalke. The Royal Blue are dominating against the, the Turkish lads. 3 1. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, what a pass there from Raul Pedro and what a finish there from Christian Kwame. Three goals to one. Pelkas is coming on for Yandos. They thought this had, they had this game in the back when they got the early chance. But right now, Schalke seems to be running rats. They're dominating at home. And hopefully the same can happen in the second leg for the away side. They've changed it now. They're going a little bit more deep. Because <laughs> this high line stuff that they're trying obviously hasn't been working. Parotti. Ugh. And South Manuel coming off to replace, being replaced by Raman. Might bring out somebody else as well. What is going on, man? How is Masamata winning all these headers? Ugh. To see another away goal, not good. The defense has been very, very shaky in recent times. Oh my god. Anderson! Oh my goodness, this game wants me to lose so bad. Okay, come on, we're moving. Here to come the counter attack. And it's Kwame. Foul. There you go. I was about to say, like, you, you raise your hand, they're not gonna call a foul for that. If Henderson is drunk, so. And Marchand! He's always scoring when he comes in! Wonderful build up from Schalke, and it's 4 2. And it's Marchand! He scores again. At least for every appearance he's had this season, he scored. Look at the build-up. Connects well with Kwame to the touch past the defender. Low driven shot past the keeper. And the Schalke with a 4-2 lead. They find him back to find Kwame. Oh, what a pass there from John Pedro. Can he seal the victory here? Oh, boy, what is this pass? Pass it in between the defenders, Kwame. And it's full time, 4 2 for Schalke. What a comeback. 1 0 down. We scored three passes in to get one back. And we score one more to seal the victory. Xiao Pedro with the early brace. Kwame got a goal. And so did Merchan. We move. As a result, uh, Leipzig beat Rostov three goals to one away. We win. Everton drew with Napoli. Arsenal trashed Dortmund 4 1. Wow. Renes, they beat Braga. Villarreal went against Anderlecht. Gladbach losing to Liverpool. And Istanbul went against Porto. It's good. Alright, so you guys were saying that Joao Pedro is a flop and all that stuff, but he's been coming through with the goals recently. And let me see how many goals he has. Joao Pedro has 14 goals this season. I don't know if that's a flop material. He has 10 assists also. You guys are calling him unacceptable. It's not that bad, obviously. I, I, at the beginning of the season, he hasn't, wasn't playing well, but he's been playing some great football recently. Only 5 goals in the Bundesliga, though. Had to improve in that area. Talismania with 8 goals this season. Matondo with 3. How many did those uh, Kwame have? Five. Yeah, he should be doing better. For me, he's more of a flop than than Jean Pedro. But whatever. Let's see what's going on here. We got an offer from for Shop. It's a player that I have not been using, and I wouldn't mind moving on. Who comes in with a bit? Ruben Kazan, three million offer. Uh, let's see if they could offer us. Actually, you know what? I'll just take it. Yeah, I'm not going to use this guy. So, 22 million in the bank. Chaff, thanks for all your services. You play a lot of games for us. But this second half of the season, you just have not been playing. And uh, I don't think you're part of my plans anymore. Ruby Kazan's a good team to go for. You're almost 30 years old. Hope you do well there. Next game is against Armenia. Bielefeld, team that we beat earlier in the season. Let's see if we can do it again. Let's put our lineup out. All right, this is our team for today. Well, 4-3-3. Ramirez comes into the side. Obispo and Chibora on the left side of the team. Crow, Harris, the frontier, Ramon, Draw, Pedro, and Matondo. Let's see how we do here. The team is heavily rotated. We do have that Europa League game coming up. So you want to make sure that we're all ready for that. Let's try to get a result here. All right. The next game against Armenia. 
he like forgetting to change the captaincy from Quebec to Herit, but whatever. The game gets on the way. Let's see how we perform. Here comes Matondo here. The player is absolutely off of a very, very comfortable victory against Fernabache in the Europa League. They were down to go early, just like they were down against the against the Real Sociedad. But thanks to João Pedro and the likes of Christian Kwame, that attack just completely destroyed Fernabache. Ended up getting the victory in the first leg. The same scoreline as against the home leg against uh, uh, Real Sociedad. Hopefully we can keep this up in the second leg. Quebec. Oh no. Oh no. And Schubert is starting in goal instead of Henderson. And decided to give him a little bit of a rest. I think he's fatigued because the way he was playing against Fenerbahce was not convincing at all. Like every shot he was pairing it, even the weak ones. Here comes Ramirez here, the new sign. He hasn't had a lot to prove yet. He has been playing to the highest order. But here comes Matondo, who scored against the... Who did, they, who did he score against? Oh, he scored against uh, Stuttgart. Oh my god. And Kwame! Oh my god! Are you serious? How are you missing that? He settled there. Oh my god, man! Can you guys open yourselves up? Nobody, he's always passing to the danger! Two minutes of at a time. He's been all bullet <sighs> it's full time, nil nil. What a poor match. Poor. And the results Augsburg, they beat Stuttgart, Freiburg win, Wolfsburg lose. The Bayern Leverkusen, Werder Bremen beat Hoffenheim. Bayern drop points with against Borussia Dortmund, Leipzig win. Oh my god, they're not helping our case, man. 48 points, we could have been right up there with Bayern Leverkusen if we were just to get some victories. This was the team of the month for last month. Kaback, Kraus, Serdar, Talismania, and Jean Pedro. I wish some of you guys were playing this well now. Alright, our next game is against Fernabache in the Europa League. We already have a 4 2 lead, but they have two away goals. So all they need is to score two goals and they're through. Uh, let's change the lineup real quick. Oh my days. Who am I supposed to play on the left? Okay, I guess I'm playing Raman. Alright, so this is how we're going to play a 4 3 3. Ramirez is back in the midfield. So Debo's back in the side. Sangari finally facing his former side. Mendil starts on the left. Midfield 3. Ramirez, Crown, Harris, the front 3. Raman, Jao Pedro, and Matsando. Let's see how we do here against the front and side who are looking to get some revenge. Alright. Oh, new Sunday Arena? Oh, I thought they had a stadium. Oh, was that only last year? Yeah, they had a stadium in past 20. I thought they had an actual stadium. All the guys, they don't. Okay, so yeah, Fernabacha playing the fake stadium. We'll be going against them. Let's see if we can get our results. Ah, uh, it's kind of disappointing. I was looking forward to coming to play in the stadium. A player with Turkish roots himself concedes the first corner. Turkin. Sosa! What a save from Dean Henderson. In fact, I think Kabak played for Galatasaray, if I'm not mistaken. Or either that or like Besiktas. I don't, I'm not really sure, but. Yeah, if he did, then he's playing for uh, their biggest rivals, against their biggest rivals. Hopefully, he would like to turn this around. Here comes Gomez. Samata! The overhead kick, and it's wide. Almost a goal there for the Fred Bachi forward from Tanzania. Oh my god, who are you passing to, João Pedro? And he finds her eats. João Pedro, what a save! What a pass from Herod also. I don't know, I forgot, that, I forgot that he's capable of creating those chances like that. But what a save there from uh, Bayendir. Oh my god. Here comes Gonu. Come on, get that in, keep that in, keep that in. Wonderful. 
to work so hard to keep that in just to give it to them. Oh, defended there from Kabak. Here comes. Oh. Here comes Shaka on the counter attack. And here comes Matondo on the, break, the breakaway. He's through on goal here. And it's Robbie Matondo. And it's 1 0. 5 2 on aggregates. And it's Robbie Matondo that puts it away. The Wall Street International does really well with the link up play. With Rob Pedro. Kept the run going. He ran, ran, ran. You know, he can't catch up to him. He finished it well. And gave Shaka the lead at uh, their uh, Fenerbahce Stadium. 1 0. Have a good chance for Matondo again, and it's 2-0. And once again, another goal for Robin Matondo. His third in three appearances. He lost the score. Three, uh, six to one aggregate, I think. Yeah, six to one aggregates. And I start becoming a little desperate here. Here comes Gumus. Find Sosa. And we still have possession again. Oh, what a pass to find Matondo. He's still running Matondo. Oh, what the heck is that? It's Rob Pedro. What save. And that's his last action for the game. He'll be coming off being replaced by Matthew Hopper. Here comes Raman. Merchan. He scored against them. Oh. Oh, dang it, man. The touches were just not good. Here comes Sosa. And Cisa, can he get something out of this? Oh, no, 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 no. I did not mean to. Hopefully, he's still on the field. They better not send him off. Don't send him off. Oh, my God. <laughs> and Dean Henderson... Has been sent off. Ah, uh, that means I'm gonna have to play Schubert the next leg. Scheiser. Oh, mate. And I can't, I don't have a goalkeeper to play right now. Well, the crowd's gonna have to go on goal. And we have Crowell in goal because D. Henderson has been sent off. Can he make a save? No, he can't. And they get one back. It's 2-1. It's a Sosa that puts it away. And it's full time. Two goals to one. Oh my god. I can't believe I... Ugh, why did I do that? We go through to the next round, but we might be missing Henderson ugh, for the first leg. Man of the match was Matondo. And Leipzig win. Napoli beats Everton. Arsenal beat Dortmund. Rene's beat win. Villarreal wins, Liverpool wins, and Istanbul wins. So our next game is against Leipzig. Wow. Dang it. In our last game of the episode, we're going to go against uh, Marshal Gladbeck. Yeah, one match suspension. Hopefully, it's one, I don't know if it's one match suspension in, in all competitions or just the, the... Yeah, he's playing the league. So you missed the Europa League game. All right, this is going to be our lineup for today. 4-3-3, the same as usual. I think this is our best lineup. Besides uh, Chiboros playing over Mendio. And uh, we have no left winger. Thomas Mann is our best left winger. But yeah. Declan Rice and Devley spraying at the defense. They have a good team. Midfield looking pretty good. Their attack is looking strong. Gladback is a team that's always giving us a hard time. Can we shock them and get a result here? Alright. Last game of the episode against Gladback. We're getting six games in the episode this episode. Let's try to not win, lose any games, okay? Because I know we dropped points in some of these games. But let's try to not lose. We draw points in the last two games of the Bundesliga. A draw and a draw. We drew against Stuttgart and then we drew against Armenia. And it's a free kick here. In a good position here for uh, Harrods. Can he score? And, oh my god, Harrods. Here comes Chibora. Play the ball over the top to find Lazaro. Oh my god. Play 1-0. Oh my god. One effort. It's a goal. This seems so annoying, man. Why are you boxing him out, Harriet? Oh my god, this passing is just garbage. Get the F out of here, man. Good pass, come on. Come on, Kwame. 
Come on, Kwame. Jean Pedro, and it's 2 1. Come on, we got one back. Jean Pedro gets his first bonus league to go in a very, very long time. What a pass from Crowell. Devlis had to mark the lads on his own. They squared it. Jean Pedro almost missed, to be honest, but he scored. And Schalke get one back. Come on, game's on. And they've gifted it away here. And it's. Schalke once again. Oh my god. Finds Harrods. Oh, what a save from the keeper. Here comes Sungare. João Pedro took the flexion and it's in. It's 2 2. What a comeback. João Pedro gets two. Schalke have two. And uh, Gladbach also have two. But it's okay though. From 2 0 down, we come back and we just get another goal. Come on. Two of the flexion off Declan Rice. And uh, the Royal Blues have come back from two, the two deficits. And drop Pedro on a hat trick here. Can he get a first half hat trick? That's the question. And the answer is no. As halftime looms, LSM play on a hat trick, drop Pedro on a hat trick. It is tied here between the two sides. Who's going to make the breakthrough and get the victory? I'll have to wait and see. Todibo does well to win the, the header back. Mass possession and Bolo, obviously a player that used to play for Schalke. Went to Gladbach. Didn't think that he was gonna do anything. As he wants to go to the competing side. And here comes Sangare though. Sangare makes it 3 2! And he scores the right back from Fenerbahce. Puts it away. And the 2 0 deficit has turned to a 3 2 lead. Sangari the right back. I think that's his first goal this season. And how important might that be? What a pass there from Kwame. This side never gave up. Scored once again. And uh, Gladbach have conceded three. Wow. That's off. And Schalke is making a triple substitution here. We've taken off a bunch of players. They've brought on Traore. Drop Pedro will be coming off. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. What is that? Come on. This is Herod's worst game yet. And it's 3 3. We we'll share the points. Another season where we don't beat Clapback. It's progress though. We got points from them. And the other, these are the other results. Bayern Munich, wow, what the heck is going on with them? Oh, still in seventh. We're not in the Europa League spots. The clapback was right there for the taking. And the game's only going to get tougher from here. Bottom of the table is still Wolfsburg. They're having a horrible season. All right, guys, this is it for this episode. Next episode is going to be a very, very tough episode. We're going to have to, we're playing Leipzig, then Bayern, then Leipzig again, then Cologne. Then we're playing Leipzig again. And then if we do qualify, we play the third, the semifinals in the Europa League. Play Leipzig three times this episode. So, yep. Calzmanio is back from injury. Henderson is suspended, so he will not be able to play this game against Leipzig. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Harrison, 85 overall. Wow. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to ask your hashtag, ask Carlos questions, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.